Welcome to the highly anticipated Angry Birds Reloaded. Boy, I didn't think I'd be saying that anytime soon. After the sheer amount of pain we had to endure to get here, I'm glad Angry Birds is back to where it should be. And as the creator of hashtag Bring Back 2012, I guess I'm obligated to give this one a go. And for the first time in half a decade, I'm actually looking forward to playing a new Rovio title. So apparently this isn't going to be an official remaster, which is perfectly alright. An inspiration will suffice for now. This game uses the same gameplay code as most classic slingshot games, specifically Angry Birds Friends in this case, as the sprites are highly inspired by those found in the modern versions of that game. Regardless of what you might think of that, at last, the classic slingshot action has returned. Predetermined birds with special abilities launched at complex structures housing the bad piggies. Oh, and movie nonsense shoehorned into the progression that nobody asked for, but we'll ignore that for now. And if you want to play Reloaded, which, by the way, is a brilliant name for this game, you'll need some type of contemporary Apple product that supports Apple Arcade, which is Apple's new video game subscription service. It costs $5 a month, but there's no microtransactions or advertisements, which is fantastic. I'm playing on Mac OS Big Sur if you're curious. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, so initial impressions here. It appears that the game takes you directly to the episode selection screen, which isn't a bad thing per se. It's not like it needs a home screen like an Angry Birds classic, though I do think it would be a welcome addition. And another thing you'll immediately notice when starting up this game is the Angry Birds theme. It's not the original, though I do think it suits the atmosphere that this game is going for. There's seven different episodes, six of which are locked, so Rovio did try to implement some kind of progression here, which is nice to see. One thing I immediately noticed when starting up this game is the return of the bird coins, though because this is an Apple Arcade title, there's no in-app purchases, so the bird coins are utilized how they should be. They're not a pseudo paywall or a means to unlocking levels, you simply use them to buy the power-ups. Which, admittedly, I'm glad the power-ups have returned, and I like how there's six of them now. You have Wingman, the Bird Potion, the Parachuting TNT, the Bird Quake, the King Sling, and the Sling Scope, all of which return for this title. It remains to be seen if these are good prices, but I guess we'll find that out as we play. Also, on the episode selection screen, to the left is Bird Island, and to the right is Piggy Island. And then you have this dude whose name's escaping me at the moment. What is it, Gary? So for today, we're gonna start the first episode, which is Hot Pursuit. I guess it's just a reskinned poached eggs. Why not just call it poached eggs? That would be better. But sure, Hot Pursuit. We're playing Need for Speed, right? Alright, so we're gonna start with level 1-1, the original. Alright, a cutscene. This looks pretty good, honestly. It's not as good as the original static one, it looks a bit cheap, honestly, but... That wasn't bad. Alright, it's tutorial time. I'm glad they kept these in here. It's not as good as the original, I guess. They literally just showed you how to beat the level, but I, whatever. All right, so this is my first sling in Angry Birds Reloaded. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. They show the accuracy line in this game. I was hoping they would get rid of that. I guess it's fine. It helps. All right, let's go, Red. Whoa, that, whoa, that was Red's original battle cry. I mean, it was remastered, of course, but that sounded amazing. And they give you the uh, 10,000 points, and the birds flip. Very nice. Three stars first time, let's go! And you have Red down here, who's emitting a shadow for some reason, even though he's standing on nothing. There's a leaderboard, and they do give you bird coins for completing the level. So, that's cool to see. New high score. It's not as good as the original still. All right, level one, two. Let's do it. See, the idea here was to always hit in the back so the pigs fall like dominoes. Come on, Red. Well, that didn't work. Now did it. I gotta tell you, I'm a big fan of these new battle cries. They're not as good as the original, but I like the variation in the inflection. It's just... I don't know. I think it's pretty good. And... one star. Alright, the iconic level 1-3. Oh, it's nice they kept the smiley face in there. Predates the emoji, right? Alright, let's go, Red. Hit the piece of wood. That will do. That will do. One, two, 
Three! Very nice. And you know, I like the way the stars pop up. It builds anticipation and tension. They pop up slowly. It goes one, two, three. And that's if you got three, of course. Otherwise, it just feels depressing. This red down here still irks me. I mean, he's not even standing on anything, and he has a shadow. So far, I'm genuinely impressed with this game. It hasn't crashed yet, which is a good sign. So let's hope that continues. All right, the iconic level 1-4. Let's go, Red. <laughs> the sound effects, I gotta say, they're fantastic. Not even just the battle cries, but you know the sound the pigs make when they pop. This genuinely feels like a remaster of the classic Angry Birds, even though they don't want to be an official remaster and it's just a reimagining of it. Alright, the iconic level 1-5, the Piggy Tower. Alright, all we gotta do is hit the glass, and we should be able to win. Yep. Oh, we did quite a bit of destruction there. Plus another 30,000 from the extra birds. Come on, three stars. Damn, let's go. Alright, the blues. I'm glad they didn't reorder the levels and put red, chuck, and bomb like I thought they would. Though they did skip over a couple levels where it was just red in the beginning. But I guess that's fine. <laughs> the blues have an interesting battle cry. Alright, one more pig to pop. And... Won't happen. Of course. Ooh! Ooh, that- oh man, that sounded good! That's uh, another remastered battle cry. Alright, level 1-7. Now we get a combination of red and the blues. Let's go for that. And... of course there'll be one pig left. Alright, Jay, Jake, Jim, let's go! Well that was rather disappointing now, wasn't it? <laughs> There's that remastered battle cry again. I'm liking it! There we go, we've popped the piggy. Still have one bird left, two stars. Alright. Mediocre, then. If there's one complaint I have so far, it's that the birds and the pigs don't look angry enough. Though, I guess I can accept that. Alright, that was a nice shot. Good job, Blues. Though, admittedly, that level was pretty easy. I don't know why they give you four birds for that one. Good job, me. Alright, let's go, Red. Okay, that's one. And go for the lower one. Alright, good job. Two shots, and done. Once again, very satisfying. Very satisfying. Ooh, this one. This one I have fond memories of. You gotta try and shake the structure, and hopefully the pigs kind of roll off. There's one. Okay, the other one won't go. Let's try and do it again. It's that remastered battle cry. So far, that's my favorite part of playing this. Sound effects are fantastic. I guess today's the day that I realized I'm a mediocre Angry Birds player, and the game really wants me to know that. It's Chuck time. Oh, oh, that, that's, that's not his tutorial level. Oh, no. I guess it's his tutorial level now. <laughs> Chuck's battle cry is fantastic. I'm sure people who have watched every single episode of Angry Birds Tunes will recognize a lot of the sound effects. <laughs> Once again, I'm learning I'm mediocre. Ooh, this level. This was originally one of the first levels. And there's a golden egg in the chest. Is there a golden egg here? No? Does that mean there's no golden eggs? I'm clicking. Clicking as hard as I can, nothing's happening. What do I do? Tell me, Rovio. Okay, fine. I guess we'll just beat the level. Like a rational person would and not question anything. Alright, that was a decent shot. Go right for this one. Alright, we got him. <sighs> Mediocre Maximus. That's my new name. Am I the only one who finds it odd that they reord the levels this way? I mean, they gave you a Chuck tutorial level and then back-to-back -back levels without a Chuck. It's kind of interesting. I get they downsized the game, but did they have to reorder the levels like this? I don't know, I'm not really a fan of that. But anyways, back to some bird flinging action. <laughs> and Red actually does make an additional battle cry when you tap on the screen, so... That's nice to see. He's just as weak as always, though. At least you're not as useless as Stella was in the original. Oh, and now you give me the Blues tutorial level. What is going on here? I'm calling it now. Reorder the levels and the game will improve. Automatically. It's not that big of a fix. Really, Rovio. Anyways, we'll do it the way Rovio wants me to do it. It's against my own will, but fine. 
So be it. Alright. Now we have Chuck. Once again, for some reason. <laughs> Chuck's original ability sound effect is still in there, and you can actually hear it. It's nice to see. Am I just gonna get two stars in every single level? Alright, our first level with all three of them. Let's go ahead and do it. Alright, we'll break off the outside barrier with the blues. And we'll get Chuck to speed in there and smash all the wood. <laughs> Chuck's battle cry is so ridiculous. But it's great. I like it. Alright, that wasn't bad. That was an average performance, once again. And Rovio agrees. Alright, the dreaded level 19. So to my memory, I think you have to get these strange contraptions rolling. But before you do that, you gotta break this piece of wood that's over here. So let's try and do that, shall we? Come on, Chuck. Okay, we did it. So now all we gotta do is get these carts rolling. <laughs> Go, you pointy bird! Alright, cart, roll. Roll, I say roll! Alright, it's gonna fall. It's gonna injure both of them. Nice. Yay! Yes! And we have one bird to spare. Oh, come on. That. Finally. Three star performance. Extra 10,000 points for the extra bird. One, two, three! I don't know. Should we end it there? Should we end it there? All right, I think we're going to end it there. According to Gary, we're 7% through the game. We have 43 total stars. And you have one impressed Maximus Overdrive. I'm genuinely impressed so far. Don't get me wrong, this is nowhere near as good as the original Angry Birds titles. Classic, Season, Space, Rio, any of them. Nowhere near. But, but, this is probably the best Angry Birds game to come out since those. Then again, it is a reimagining of the classic Angry Birds, so I'm not surprised that it's somewhat decent. I had a lot of fun, though. Definitely give this one a go. I highly recommend it to any avid Angry Birds fan. And I guess as we continue to play through this together, we're going to learn a lot about what Rovio has to offer in 2021 and beyond. There's one more thing I need to check before I call it quits. Did they credit the original team? Yes. Yes, they did. So they're not ignorant. Ah, yes. Nicholas and Mike Eelhead. The gods. Oh, and Yako Izolo. He's pretty important, too. If this game was from the Leveranta era, they'd be completely omitted. And there's Ari Polkinen, whose soundtrack is not here for some reason. So if you have any comments, questions, or complaints, you can let me know in the comment section below. With that I say, peace out.